we had, we're hosting a beer and wine uh, gala for uh, the cheerleading, cheerleading team in Hopkinton for, uh, uh, to raise money uh, to try to send them to nationals down in Florida. You know, I've coached a number of sports in town, the youth sports program, and I'll tell you, I haven't seen anything like what the girls have to go through uh, quite often six days a week uh, for several hours, two, three hours at a time, and the uh, competitive nature of what it takes to do choreographed dance and gymnastics all at the same time, holding each other up, doing tumbling, um, et cetera. And uh, there's the fall event, as well as the winter event uh, that the teams go through to try to get a bid for nationals. So we, were, we had three goals in mind when we put the event together. One of them was to raise money to send the girls to Florida, as I mentioned before. Um, the second was to make it a community event so that the town could get together to support the hardworking girls of town. And what we're gonna do is we have um, distributors coming in and you'll be able to sample some higher end wines uh, to get a sense for what they're like, 12 reds, uh, six or seven white wines, and we're also gonna have uh, six to ten beers, specialty beers that uh, people will be able to learn about. The distributors will be talking about the different wines, give you the opportunity to ask some questions, to get better educated, if you will, about, um, uh, about some things that they might not normally get a chance to taste or, or use. And um, we're also going to have some food, uh, light snacking kind of food. It's from six o'clock to nine o'clock, so some appetizers. And we have a DJ, um, Carl Adams, who's gonna play at the event to keep the, the spirit up and the spirit light. So it's an opportunity to mingle with town folks in addition to raising some money for the girls. There have been numerous opportunities for the, for the girls over the years. Um, one of the ones that I'm particularly blown away by is this year in the fall, they won three Tri-Valley League or TVL championships in a row. That's the first time that's happened. Uh, they've competed in the regionals and come in second place. Last year they competed um, in the New Englands and came in uh, third place in New England. It's the first time that that's ever happened where they've uh, placed that high. They have a number of first place events and uh, the team has really gone from mm, pretty much obscure 10 years ago to being a competitor and, and a top-notch player and, and uh, placement in pretty much all of the events they go to both invitationals, which are independents, as well as uh, the school events. Community support is tremendous. Um, you know, without the town supporting them um, from a financial as well as uh, just, you know, being there to applaud and, 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 uh, and help them out. Um, but also from the coaches. The coaches have been tremendous. You know, you need to know how to drive the girls, uh, how far to drive the girls. It's very um, demanding on their bodies in addition to their minds. So, um, you know, bruises are quite common, sprains are, are, are the norm, and the coaches help them work through that, along with the support, you know, of the town. In addition to uh, music and some food and education about some wines that you, and beers that you might not normally get access to, we have some theme baskets. So uh, a Celtics basket, a Red Sox basket, a barbecue basket that uh, people who are going to the event who bought a ticket and are attending will be able to bid on. Uh, some of them are, are, you know, have some fun themes to them as well uh, inside. So there's an opportunity to, to bid on those and, uh, and win. And then if you're not able to make the event, buying a ticket, um, whether you go or you don't go, the ticket gets you the opportunity to be entered into a grand prize raffle where you're, the ticket will be pulled out of a, a basket and you win a, a Bose surround sound system. So I encourage you all to come on out, um, support the cheerleaders of Hopkinton um, and their quest for a national bid to send them down to Florida to get some education about some wines and beers that you might not normally get access to and to just have a general fun night in Hopkinton to get out of maybe all the snow that you've been shoveling the last couple of weeks.